So I'm going to show you how to use a crochet hook effectively. It's a very typical way of making dreadlocks when they're first started out. If you're using this method to tidy dreadlocks or dreadlock maintenance as it's called, always remember to take care in your work, be very gentle and let the crochet hook do the work for you. It's a very safe way to do it and it will make your dreadlocks look great. If you're not used to using a crochet hook or making dreadlocks, it's worth getting some practice hair and practicing on something other than someone's head. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to demonstrate that. So as you can see here, um, the dreadlock's very fluffy. We're just going to pull in the loose hair with this tiny little crochet hook. A crochet hook, as you can see, I've put some tape around it for extra grip. There's three different ways to use a crochet hook. Um, on this first stage, we're just going to go down the dreadlock very lightly, just pull in the loosest hairs possible, and then we're going to move on to the next stage, which is sculpting and tightening. So what we're going to do is just take the hair, wrap it round the dread and pinch between our thumb and forefinger, and the crochet hook is going to go through the dread, out the other side, hook the hair and pull it back through. Through, hook and pull it back through. So grab the hair, push the hook through, as you can see it's come out the other side. I'm just going to hook it and pull it through. So there's the hook. Make sure the hook's facing down towards the hair that you're going to grab. Pinch the loose hair between your thumb and forefinger and it makes it easier to pull the hair through with the hook. So we're going to do this over and over again, working slowly down the dread, just lightly to pull in all that loose hair until we get to the bottom. And then when you get to the bottom, always be a little bit careful. So now that we've tightened up all the loose hairs, we're going to move on to the tightening and sculpting. For this bit, we're just going to take the crochet hook three quarters of the way through the dread and pull it back in and out. Watch this demonstration. So we're going to go just into the dread slightly and we're going to tighten and sculpt. And we're going to go into much more detail here. So in and out like this and halfway into the dread, just, just before we get out to the other side with the hook. So we're going to go in and out of the dreadlock over and over to pull in all the loose hairs. As you're doing it you'll feel the dreadlock getting tighter and tighter in your hand and you can put a little bit of pressure on your thumb and forefinger on the dreadlock itself and this will help pull the loose hairs in also. If you pay attention to the sensation of the dreadlock in your hand while you're crocheting you'll feel the shape of the dreadlock that the crochet hook is making. When you get to the end of the dreadlock, be very, very careful, very gentle, because this is usually where people end up injuring themselves if they don't take care. Okay, for this final phase, what we're going to do is work on the very tips of the dreadlocks. This isn't to style them, this is literally just to lock them in place so they don't fall out. So as you can see here, there's uh, loose hair all around the knot here at the bottom. So we're going to focus on this one area, as before, going in and out and twisting the dreadlock round and doing it over again. This is so that we can hook in all the loose hair from all the directions and slowly creating a knot at the bottom. This is going to lock the hair in so it doesn't unravel. There we go. Give it a quick palm roll and you'll see it's sculpted nicely. Obviously before you get to this stage of using a crochet hook you're going to want to know how to section dreadlocks if you're working on people's head. If that's the case then I recommend you go and check out our website and see the previous video how to section dreadlocks on www.dreadsuk.com If you want to keep up to date with more tutorial videos like this and new ones coming out or make suggestions for videos you'd like to see then subscribe to our newsletter on dreadsuk.com Scroll to the bottom of the website and you'll see a subscribe to our newsletter link.